Hey everyone, thanks for joining me. This is gonna be a very different kind of video. I'm so excited. This is something I've actually been challenged to do for months and I'm finally getting around to it when David was here. He's a makeup artist, by the way. Um, we were doing a little Periscope session and he like publicly called me out on the fact that I have not yet done this 88 palette bingo idea that he has. And then many of you who were watching were like, yeah, do it. So here's what this is all about. You guys remember the 88 color palettes that were really popular Popular. Like, I remember when I started YouTube, I was getting a bunch of them from Coastal Scents. Or I'm sure there are other brands who are putting out similar styles of palettes. And it's been a long, long time since I've picked one of those up and used them. And so David thought this would be a fun way to kind of force yourself into a random assortment of colors. You're going to end up picking five random shades for the letters B-I-N-G-O. You're just going to have two sets of numbers for however many shades you have across in your palette and how many shades down. In my case, for this palette, it's 11 across and 8 down. And then you draw a number from each bag for the letters B-I-N-G-O, so you'll have five random shades that you need to work into a look. And according to David's rules, <laughs> I can pull in anything else that I want. Any additional shadows, any bases, mascaras, lashes, liners, you name it. But you do have to work in these five shades into your look that end up getting chosen. I am going to be using my Prism palette. It's kind of similar, I think, to the original 88 palette from Coastal Scents. This is from Coastal Scents, uh, by the way. And I went ahead and numbered my shades uh, 11 across and 8 down with little labels there. You wouldn't have to do that, but I just thought it would keep me from counting each time. Again, you could do this concept with any palette, no matter the size. Just go by how many shades you have across and how many shades you have down. Put them in two separate bags, and those are your numbers. So I have a lovely assistant joining me this morning. He just morning. recently woke up. <laughs> I was gonna wait till he was ready for work, but mm. mama's got other things to do. You wouldn't need to pull in a helper for this task, but I just thought, you know, what the heck. It'll make it fun and y'all will know that my colors have been chosen by someone else. I have a witness. So I just have 11 numbers in one bag in this bag and eight shades in my other bag. So Bub's gonna pull out one number from each and that'll tell me what my first shade is. Four. Four. Seven. We're working with a nice teal. Three. Three, okay. Seven. Three and seven. Five. Five. Eight. And eight, okay. Five and eight. Two. Two? One. One. Top shade. One again. One, okay. How many down? One. Oh, we're working with black. black. Hey, that's good. All right, bub. Your work here is done, my friend. Thank you. Happy to help. Thank you for your help. I'm gonna take a shower. Maybe you'll have to come back and see how I did with the uh, yes. shades you chose. I will be back. So there's B I N G O. I thought it might be wise to just swatch out these shadows first um, to see what I'm working with, how pigmented things are, like what the finishes are. So this pink shade is pretty strong and it does have shimmer. These two, very pastel and just matte on that blue and mint green. And then this coppery shade uh, does have shimmer, but kind of flaky. And then I've got a matte black. I thought I was gonna sit here and map out like an entire plan for this look, but I, honestly, I'm not really sure where this is going. So first off, I know I'm gonna prime my lids. This is the NYX Proof It Eye Primer. So I'll just pop that on. Who knows? I mean, this may be a real disaster. This look may not be attractive at all. Don't be surprised. I'm gonna use this NYX Jumbo Pencil as a base. It's in the shade Cottage Cheese, so it's just like a light, shimmery white shade. I'm gonna take that around my inner corner and up onto the lid some. When I reference what shades I'm picking up, I'm just gonna use what's here on my hand to show you so I don't have to pull the palette up every time, but I'm gonna use the mint green. Okay, pick it up with this little inner corner brush. And since it is just so light, I mean, it seems like it's barely green. I'm gonna take that around the inner corner. I would love to see, like, if you guys try this, I would love to see how your looks turn out. Because it's just, it's a fun challenge. You just can't take yourself too seriously when you're doing this, though. Doesn't have to be perfect. Doesn't even have to end up pretty. That's the fun of it. I think naturally, next I'm gonna go into the blue. And that's just a, like a light pastel. Again, this is a matte blue. 
Ooh, that had more pop than I was expecting. Pull that up onto the lid. I'm gonna stop there for a second before I get too crazy on the lids because whatever I do in the crease might end up covering it a bit. But I'm gonna go into this coppery shade here. It does have some shimmer, but I think it could still be decent in the crease. And I'm just gonna pop that into my crease. Honestly, that's a pretty crease color for this look, I think. A little bit more blue once again. I don't want to lose that color. And now I do have a liner that very closely matches this shade right here, this kind of pinkish purple. And it's from ColourPop and it's in the shade called Piggy Bank. So I'm going to use that, but I'm also going to use, I think, a black liner in my waterline here. I think kind of anchoring the look with a little bit of black here in the waterline. I don't know if I want to throw around the word wearable for this look, but <laughs> I don't know. It might kind of give it a smoky vibe. I'm going to pull that downward into my lash line, really get it in between the lashes. Oh, hey, Bub. These are the colors. Mm -hmm. Bub's ready for work now. Yeah. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Different? Looks like a start. Well, have a good day, Bub. Love you. Thank you for drawing my numbers. Look nice. Smudge that liner a bit here. Then I'm gonna take this uh, kind of like berry purple liner, and that's gonna go like all throughout on the skin on my lower lash line. And I'm gonna smudge the crap out of it. Then I'm going to go into our purple and, uh, or purplish pink, and I'm going to top off that liner and hopefully add even more um, brightness as I do this. Yeah, that really, that really pops down there. I'm doing a pretty thick lower lash line as you can see. Pretty proud of that lower lash line to be honest with you. You'll recall we are also working with a black, so I'm going to pull that in with my Sonia Kashuk small shadow brush. Thank goodness black <laughs> is in this look. And this is gonna go in my outer corner. I'm tempted to really go huge on the outer V, but I don't know. I, I uh, The color is so bright in this look, I kind of want to contain it just a little bit, like just as far as the shape goes. I want to add more copper, for sure, right in here. I was just thinking, would this not be a super fun party game? If you own a bunch of 88 palettes or like your friends do, have them come over and then I could like get on Periscope and do live number calling. So then you're looking at whatever palette you have and you end up, you know, having those shades to work with. Wouldn't that be fun? I gotta tell you, I'm not hating the way that uh, transition-y crease area is looking. Hmm? But here's what I'm thinking. I kind of want the purple to like maybe come right around here. Like see how much I can blend that into the copper, maybe. I don't know. I need something small, so I'm using this little E36 from Sigma. And I'm just gonna kind of pull up from the lower lash line. It's like these shades are a nice little cocoon for the mint green and blue. Now my five colors really didn't include much of a highlight, so I'm pulling in my Naked Basics palette. I think I'm just gonna use this shade right here just for a light highlight under the brow. But other than that, you know, we didn't really pull in a bunch of other shadows. We could've, you know, that would've been fine, but it was also kind of challenging to try to mainly stick to the five that were chosen. And I'm gonna do some liquid liner. I'm using my Physician's Formula Eye Booster Pen. Just a small wing, 
small wing. Curl the lashes. All right, friends, end result with the lashes. I mean, honestly, I didn't know where I was going with this look when I started. And I think we ended with a pretty kick-ass eye look, if I do say so myself. I mean, this, these colors are so random, and it was really fun to be challenged to put them together in some way that made a little bit of sense. And um, I already had my foundation done when I started the look, so I just uh, left my lip and cheek to be added on. And as tempted as I was to go really nude on the lip, I kind of wanted to play off of this um, coppery shade that's sheared out up here. I wanted to pull that into the mix and kind of make some harmony with that color on the face. So I use this sheer kind of corally gloss. It's the Buxom Lip Gloss in Taylor on the lips. And then I used my Peach Perfection CoverGirl Instant Cheekbones on my cheeks. If you do this, please like tweet me or Instagram your pictures. Let's do hashtag palette bingo. And I think this would be so, so fun to get inspiration from each other's looks. And David, Thank you for the idea. Thank you to everybody who peer pressured me to do this because I'm really glad I did it. And for an inspirational David quote that he left me with <laughs> during our Periscope session, more is the new less. Thank you guys. I will see you next time. Bye.